am very pleased with the coloring of these. They look really nice. And you know what, you guys? I smell the cotton candy. Like, I smell it on the chips. Murder on the beat. What's up, YouTube? It's Dreadhead Keezy, and I'm back again with another video just like I promised. So today, I'm going to be making cotton candy flavored Doritos. Yes, I am. I searched and searched and searched and searched on YouTube and all other websites to see if I found anybody else who made these. No one else has made this, okay? I have to say that one of my friends actually came up with this idea. This was not my idea. This was one of my friend's ideas, and she's going to be in the video with me, and she's going to be helping me make them because, as y'all know, I am not the cook. I always have to be supervised when I cook. <laughs> I don't cook. So as soon as my friend gets here and we're about to start the video, I will come back and let you guys know, and I'll walk y'all through the process. This is going to be good. Just stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so my friend, she just got here. She's back there, and I'm about to show you everything that you're going to need to make these cotton candy flavor Dorito chips. So here is everything that you need. Boop! And so obviously you need cotton candy. I have two um, pictures of cotton candy right here. Tortillas. This is a whole pack of tortillas. I bought three just in case if this wasn't enough, but I think this is going to be enough. And your food coloring for your cotton candy because... Once this cotton candy dissolves in the water, it's not going to hold that color on these um, tortilla chips. So you need extra food coloring. And I'm not just gonna do the regular pink and blue like this. I'm gonna actually do pink, green, yellow, and blue like the Carnival um, cotton candy. And then I have some butter right here that I'm getting ready to spread on the pan because I'm gonna bake these first before I fry them because there's they're gonna be wet and I don't want the water to mix with the grease and cause an issue so we're gonna bake these first but here we go okay so the first thing you're gonna want to do before you get started with anything is go ahead and get your grease going on medium heat on the stove and butter your pan for your tortilla shells to go on top of when you bake those in the oven so that's what you want to do first and you want to get four little bowls like this of water i chose four because i'm doing four colors so four little bowls of water you don't need a lot of water as you can see you just need a little tiny bit of water because what you're going to do is you're going to put the um cotton candy inside of these bowls and the water is going to soak up the cotton candy and that's where your flavor is going to come from so before i start anything i need to go and like wash my hands and get myself together so i'll be right back give me one second Okay, y'all, I'm back, and I'm about to put the cotton candy inside of the bowl and see what happens. So, here we go. Okay, I went ahead and put blue cotton candy and blue food dye into this bowl right here. And this is the outcome of the cotton candy and the blue food dye. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the next one so that you guys can see it, how the cotton candy is and everything. Uh, I'm grabbing the cotton candy. Okay, here we go. That's what happens. I'm digging it out. Hold on. And that's how it's going to get its flavor. I don't want to put too much, but I also don't want to put... Um, not enough because then you know the flavor won't go to the chip so that's that without the food dye I'm gonna figure out what color I'm gonna be able to dye this because the blue is kind of dark so let me find out and I will be right back okay so I tried to use all pink cotton candy to do the yellow look guys this is supposed to be yellow I don't know what's going on See, like it is yellow, but because of the color of the cotton candy, see, I didn't think the color of the cotton candy was going to be that dark because I'm mixing it with water. I thought that it would be kind of like faded out. I haven't put any food coloring in this one at all, and it's pretty dark blue. This one is a lot of blue food coloring. So I'm going to have to figure out how I can get this cotton candy um, colors. I got the flavor down because I've been using this, so the flavor is good, but... 
I need to figure out the colors. So I will be back, you guys. We're running into a problem, but it will be fixed and I'll be back. So what we ended up with was blue, purple, yellowish orange, and green. So I'm going to take the tortilla chips that I have, well, the tortilla shells, they're soft tortilla shells, and drop them in here for about 15 to 20 minutes but I'm gonna make sure that they don't get soggy first and then we're going to bake them. So here we go, I'm gonna put them in now. Okay, so we're putting them in now and um, we're gonna let them soak for a little bit. And when we get done putting them in, we'll push them down all the way to the bottom to make sure that they're all the way in there. And like I said, we have to let them sit for 15 to 20 minutes, but I'm going to keep checking them to make sure that they're not getting soggy. They look like they're already taking the color pretty good. Like if you can see these and this, they look like the color is like already soaking into them. So it might not even need to be 15 to 20 minutes, but I'll check back in after they sit and I'll let you guys know. I'll set the timer now. Okay, guys, these have literally sat in here for five minutes and they have soaked up so much of the food dye but I want to make sure that they actually have that cotton candy flavor because that's the whole point of this. I want them to taste like cotton candy. Um, like I said, this was really my friend's idea. This was her whole thing she came up with, but we're gonna see how they turn out. After they soak for about five to 10 more minutes, I'm gonna put them over here on this and allow them to dry a little bit before I butter this pan. So I'll be back in five. So I've moved some of the blue ones and some of the purple ones out of the um, dye and I've put them on here and go ahead and put the paper towel on top. This is to get like the extra moisture out because you don't want them to be soggy and all of that. I took the rest of them already out of the, um, of the juice, well the food dye because I didn't want them to get soggy. So I'm just doing these ones so you guys can see so far. So this is what you wanna do first to dry them out a little bit. And then after this, you want to put them on the baking sheet to go into the oven. This is what they should look like once they're dry. This is it. They're dry. See that? Now they're going on the baking sheet. This is what they should look like on the baking sheet. I know I said at the beginning of the video that I was going to put butter on the pan, but I decided to use wax paper instead because... I feel like it'll be better for these. So I'm gonna put the first batch in. I still have to fill up the rest of the pan. And um, just make sure that you preheat the oven to 350 degrees because my assistant forgot. So we are literally waiting for the oven to be preheated. I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh, there it is, there it is, yeah. And these bad boys are going in the oven now. They're in there, so I'm gonna go ahead and start on the next colors. Yep, there we go. Batch going in. Okay, you guys, so we have four different pans of them in the oven right now. We have four more to put in after that. And once all that is done, my friend over here is going to hop over here to the stove and throw them bad boys in the fryer, and we're going to see how they turned out. So make sure you stick around and make sure you stay tuned because it's about to go down. Y'all, this is what happens when I try to cook unsupervised. I left one of the batches in too long and forgot. So, this is what happens. Oh, and it stops. It stops. Dreadhead Keezy. So they're all done, and I am very pleased with the coloring of these. They look really nice, and you know what, you guys? I smell the cotton candy. Like, I smell it on the chips. So we're getting ready to throw these in the fryer and we'll see now, how they turn out. Time for the frying. Ooh boy. Looking good, looking good. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, so they're out of the fryer now, and I just threw a little bit of salt on them. I don't know if y'all can see it. She actually said I put too much salt on them, so hopefully they're not too salty, but we're getting ready to try them, so stick around. Oh my gosh, y'all. So this is how they turned out. This is the cotton candy and the tortilla chips, 
and I am getting ready to try them. They look so good. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna try green because I'm wearing a green apron and green for my best friend. So here we go. Oh, what? I'm about to be a millionaire. I am about to be a millionaire. This, this is amazing. This is amazing! Y'all, this is literally the best thing I've ever made. Oh, sorry. But, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you love this video. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments, and I'll be glad to get back to y'all with my answer. Make sure you drop a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube, make sure you go subscribe to my YouTube and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. I'm about to choke on my food, so let me go so I can finish eating this. It is amazing! Make sure you guys stay up, stay subscribed, and stay safe like I always say. And until next time, peace out. Y'all, I'm still eating them. Ha, 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 ha.